So last night was the last night of Hanukkah, the eighth night, the night that we're building to, adding a candle every night. Last night, it's the, it's the perfect image. It's the best way to end the holiday, isn't it? Each Hanukkah full, eight candles plus the shamash, all burning brightly together in our windows. What a perfect way to end the holiday. But maybe you're asking, well, what's next? How do we top that? Especially this year in the pandemic where Hanukkah was our festival of light and our festival of hope, where the candles were symbolizing light, warmth, hope at the darkest time of the year. Where do we go from here? Well, today's Friday, which means tonight Shabbat begins and we light more candles from Hanukkah candles to Shabbat candles. And then tomorrow night, we light a Havdalah candle. And we'll do this every week for the entire year. It'll be a while before we have another Yom Tov, but before you know it, Pesach will roll around and we'll light candles for that Yom Tov and for all the Yom Tovim coming after that. You know, it's interesting. The Jewish people are often called the people of the book. But I would say we could easily be called people of the light. We use candles and light to mark not just our happy occasions, our festivals, but even the somber moments in our lives. We light Shiva candles, we light Yortzeit candles, as well as Shabbat, Havdalah, Yom Tov, and Hanukkah candles. Hanukkah isn't the only time of year when we're trying to share a message of light, warmth, and hope. In fact, we do that all year round. Remember, the menorah, in the temple and in the Mishkan before it. The menorah that the Maccabees were so eager to light again and were so concerned that they didn't have enough oil for, that menorah, from when it was created, built in the wilderness, was lit, was always burning, night and day, never going out. That's why in every synagogue all over the world there is always a ner tamid, an eternal light, just like there was in the temple, always burning, never going out. Remember, I believe it's the prophet Isaiah who talks about the Jewish people's responsibility to be a light unto the nations, a light to the rest of the world, to share a message of hope, to kindle other lights, to inspire, to illuminate, to warm, not just during Hanukkah, not just those eight days, but the entire year. It reminds me of the Hanukkah song from Peter, Paul, and Mary. Light one candle? Just because Hanukkah's over doesn't mean we let the light go out. Let it shine through our love and our tears. Chag Sameach. Shabbat Shalom.